The largest rally for the unborn in the United States took place today and for the first time ever, the president of the United States attended the event. I think the facts that Donald Trump won the presidency shows we're still a nation being blessed. So we've got to seize the moment here. This is historic. Two lawyers were looking for a class action case that they could bring in order to make abortion apply to everybody. When we were kids, my dad was a pastor and he moved his church office next to the busiest abortion clinic in Dallas, Texas. And one of those employees there was Norma McCorvey, who was the Jane Roe in the Roe v. Wade Supreme Court case. They wanted to change a law. I wanted to have an abortion. When you throw God out, violence always fills the void. Daniel! And get that camera out of my face! Daniel, don't do that. Please. Now, officer, what would you do if you saw them taking three-year-olds in there? That that little three-month-old child, precious in God's sight, is that three-year-old child, you would understand that you have a higher obligation. I'm not budging, and our sidewalk counselors are not budging. The baby is this man. Kill it. I know, I killed my baby. Murdering babies in this country is essential. That's the nation you live in. I'm more than willing to stand up for women, stand up for babies, even to the point of risking arrest and my freedom. What I see from Donald Trump is that he recognizes that this is a battle, and he is on the side of freedom, and therefore he's on the side of God. You go with what Hillary is saying, in the ninth month, you can take the baby and rip the baby out of the womb of the mother. I've never seen a president be more pro-life than Donald Trump. Unborn children have never had a stronger defender in the White House. We know that every human soul is divine and every human life is made in the holy image of Almighty God. They are coming after me because I am fighting for you and we are fighting for those who have no voice 